We're going to install the VB Guest plugin into Vagrant. To start, we're going to open up a command window. If you have a shortcut to the command window, you can click on that and open it up. If you don't, go over to the Start menu button. Type in CMD for command and then click on Command Prompt. In this window, what we're going to do is we're going to check the version of Vagrant that we have. So we're going to type in Vagrant dash dash version. And in this case, we have Vagrant version 2.1.0. So if the version is one or older, you want to use these commands down here that can be found out on the Vagrant VB guest page at on GitHub. But because we have Vagrant 2, we're going to use Vagrant plugin install vagrant vb guest. Once you type that in, go ahead and hit enter. And you should get a message that says the plugin is installing. And you'll get a warning that it can take a few minutes. In fact, it can take around 10 to 15 minutes depending on your internet connection speed and your hard disk speed and other factors. Even with the fast SSD drive and a good internet connection of 100 megabits per second or more, I found this process usually takes about seven minutes. So go ahead and let it run, grab some lunch, mow the lawn, clean the gutters, come back, wait 10 more minutes, check it again. But don't interrupt it in the middle of the process. You don't want to kill the process halfway through because you can leave the plug-in in this kind of weird state where you can't really uninstall it and you can't really repair it and you can't really install it and it can be a bit of a mess. So just let the process run. It will take a while and that's okay. Um, when you come back you should see that there's a command prompt and you'll have a message that says that the plugin's been installed. Once the installation completes you'll see a few messages that tell you that the plugins were installed successfully. You can go ahead and type in Vagrant at this point just to make sure that Vagrant is still running okay. And you should just get a message that just shows you the common commands that you can run. And if you see this, then you are ready to go.